The G2B project is finally inside the bay. It's looking good already, man. Yeah, I finally got everything all secured. The axle and everything. For some of you guys that need an update, this is a semi-plate G2B. Axle I'm using is from 89 Integra. Uh, 90 to 2000 is not gonna work. It will be too long. The passenger side is from 89 Integra. The driver side is also from a 89 Integra, which is happened to be a uh, insane shafts that I previously have. Yeah, might as well put it in good use. And that's connected to an H22 half shafts and connected to a B series transmission. As you can see, it sits uh, correctly, somewhat. It could use a little bit of a leaning backwards, but it's okay. Because I need uh, space for my uh, intake manifold. The engine mounts, these are B-Series EK swap mounts, which is the inexpensive one. The strength or uh, the stiffness of the uh, bushing, I have no idea. But I bought a replacement just in case anything happened to this bushing. I got one of those uh, 1320 uh, bushing, 75A. I just want to try it out first. See how uh, it's for review. That way you'll be uh, update if you want to get that one or not. If it's no good, then yeah, I could honestly say, yeah, it's no good. Before I close this episode, I want to uh, show you, or I want to see it to myself, how is the uh, intake manifold will fit in there. Hopefully I will clear right here. Man, I'll be crossing my fingers here. Mm -mm. Oh. Mm-hmm. few items that I have noticed already, but uh, no biggie. Let me put a couple of nuts on there so we'll have a better. We'll have a better C on what it looked like. I think I can have more clearance on this if I use just a regular gasket. I'm using one of those thermal and that's about uh, one eighth of an inch or so or a quarter. But there's plenty. I can put my fingers on there. Um, okay, this is perfect. All right, this is the only one right here. Okay. Let me set the light for you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Plenty of clearance right there. The throttle cable, it's okay. I got clearance there. This one right there, that's the only one. But a little bit of a bend on this tube and I'm thinking about deleting this the vacuum the PCV well we'll see how it goes but uh, yeah a little bit about bend won't hurt there you go this is not final I'm still gonna remove this because I have to route the uh, engine harness and everything but I just wanted to uh, show you before I close this video, I got plenty of clearance here for my uh, air intakes. Yeah, uh, it'll touch a little bit, but I think it'll be okay. Cool, man. 
I guess my calculation is correct. The clearance right here. Just in case the motor start move back. Yeah, I'm not be smacking that uh, brake proportioning valve. So, uh, all right, it's good. I have another uh, motivation for you guys before I close this episode. Uh, what am I gonna say? What is the cake without the icing, right? All right, let me get it. <laughs> I hope you guys will like the color. This is the second time that I painted this valve cover. The first one I didn't like it so much. I painted it yellow. It's just that uh, it's too bright for me. Uh, I can always uh, repaint this valve cover if I don't like it afterwards. No biggie there. But we'll put another icing on top of the icing. Right there. I still have to remove the tape on this. <laughs> what do you guys think? Leave a comment. Maybe I should put a different color, maybe blue or something. But like I said, I can always repaint this. This is where I stop. And thank you all for watching. Bye everyone. G2B project is finally here. Yeah.